<coughs> hey, come on, let me take a look at you on the rig. Does that sound good? <coughs> I'm fine. <coughs> take a five minute rehab or I'm reporting you. <coughs> You're the one who should be with Matt Casey. You know that, right? What? Come on. You're meant for each other. So how's everything with the uh, not boyfriend? I mess up everything I touch when it comes to romance. Oh, come on. My money is on you finding exactly what you want, because that's what you deserve. Hey, doesn't look like anyone's been in here. I didn't leave my door open. OK. Well, got an extra pillow? I'm staying on the couch. Thank you. You didn't have a choice. It's always been you. Uh, you're always the one who's there for me in a, in a crisis. I guess I'm just trying to say thank you for, for being such a good friend. Hi. You rush out of Molly's, and you avoid me all shift. Talk to me, Sylvie. Did I do something wrong? No. I, I was avoiding you. I wouldn't end up doing this. Sylvie, I need you to know I'm in love with you, nobody else. We belong together. You do. I'm in love with <laughs> Nobody's going to think anything of it. Sure. <clears throat> Do they not realize we all know they're together? How could we not know? We knew a year before they did. OK, if those two know, then everyone knows. Now, there's something else we need to talk about. Oh, OK. They have to move to Oregon. So you're leaving. I want you to come with me. I'm not moving to Oregon. I need to stay. Silly. Nothing's going to change. Thank you for coming to see me. How much longer can we keep this up? It's so much time apart. I don't know. But we're together tonight. Matt, hi. Hey, Sylvie. Um, come on in. I got something about a year and a half ago, and I wanted to give it to you before I go back to Portland. Sylvie Brett, we were meant to be. Will you make me three kids, luckiest family in the world, marry me? <laughs> 